Hi everyone, Uzair here. In our previous video when we visited our website, at our home page after some seconds we got a pop-up which asked for our email. So it was coming again and again and I thought maybe I should explain this in, the, in this video how it works and how do we set it up. So this pop-up is, is for the users is, is to collect emails and those emails come handy when you are doing email campaign. The thing is when your users or your website visitors add their email here. And click on subscribe. This pop-up will not appear again because their email has been subscribed. Okay, so I'm going to minimize it. And I'm going to visit my admin panel. And here in opt-in builder, you'll see a new email which was just added. So whenever a visitor visits your website, they get a pop-up and they, if they want to subscribe to your weekly, yearly, monthly newsletter subscription and those emails will appear over here. So you will you can create your own email list. So what? Uh, how do we set it up and uh, what is the mechan mechanism behind this? How it appears? I'm going to explain all of it. The first thing is that in your newspaper theme panel, you'll see here, click on theme panel. Or just click on plugins. In plugins, you'll see the e the the plugins that come with the newspaper theme. Some of them some of them have been installed and some of them them have been not. You'll see a tag div opt-in builder over here. Make sure that it has been activated or installed. When it will be installed, you'll see opt-in builder over here. Okay. So when we visit our home page and we click over here, edit with tag div composer, you can also edit it from here, go to cloud templates. Here you'll see home page on the three dots. You'll see edit with tag div composer. Both have, both have the same end results. Okay. So the first thing that I am going to do, I am going to delete this banner because this is a default demo banner. We don't need this on our website. So I'm going to select it, click on delete. And I'm going to delete this too. Delete this advertisement. Let's zoom out a bit. Move it over here. Click it. And click on the it. Scroll down. You can also delete them. I'll move it below. And delete this too. Okay, I don't know what is this. Power of Pro and AI, maybe it's from a plugin. Click on the cross icon here and it will disappear. Click on cross icon over here too. Okay. I'm going to delete this banner too. Now most of our, most of our website is clean. If I save it and click on view, you'll see those banners that came at the top or on the sidebar have disappeared. And the pop-up is coming again and it says unscribe. Okay. So how it is coming on our website? If you, if you scroll down over here, you'll see a small box over here, which says pop-up model. This is the exactly, uh, the, the pop-up that is, uh, uh, coming on our homepage. If you click over here, you'll see it has popped up and these are all the settings that this email pop-up has. You'll see here it has a unique page ID. This is important. 
the the page ID is the design that this pop is pop up is grabbing from. I'll show you which page it is. And if you scroll down, it shows the different specs, width, height, quarter size, style. You can change them if you like. And uh, somewhere here, it also also show you the time at which it should appear. Go over here on triggers. In triggers, you'll see open delay in seconds. If I change it from four seconds to ten seconds, this pop up will appear after four seconds. How? Let's save it first and click on view. Now I'll start counting from one to ten. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 10 it has appeared so you can change the pop-up settings from over here i'll change it back to four seconds or maybe five seconds it should appear after like 10 seconds 10 seconds is good auto close after in seconds you can also choose this option do not open for enable enable Click on save. Okay, so this is the pop up model which is appearing over here. If you don't have it and you have tag div opt in builder installed, how you can uh, make it appear over here? What you can do, you can click on add in the search elements, you'll search pop up model and it will appear over here you what you need to do you just need to drag and drop drag and drop anywhere you want or i'll just drag and drop it over here it won't appear over on your home page it will be blank at first so what you need to do you need to give it a page id for it to function to show our design you'll see in our pop-up model default pop-up model you'll see a page id 42 over here but this new one i dropped it doesn't have any page id so what is this page ID and how do we get it from? Um, let me delete it first. If you go to our WordPress admin dashboard and go to pages, you'll see a page that I did delete when I first installed the demo. It says Katmar subscription pop-up. Katmar was the demo name. I'm going to edit, edit its name first. Let's go back. Click on quick edit. I'll just name it subscription pop-up and click on update if i just edit it with tag div or i just edit it click on edit you'll see the pop-up design will appear over here and the id you'll see in the top search bar is 42 The page is loading. Okay, so this is the design of our pop-up. If I over, if I reload my home page again, you'll see after five seconds there will be a pop-up. It should be here by now. Okay. So th the pop up has a top image, which is this one. Get the latest news daily. And this is the image. You can change this image. You can either delete it or drag and drop a new image by dropping an image box over here and adding your own image. You can test it later. And in the I have clicked on the wrong button and I have cancelled the tag decomposer. I'll go back. Or no, I'll just write in on the notepad 
for the pop-up model what we need to do the first thing that uh, we need on our newspaper theme is tag div opt-in builder this builder will grab your customer emails the second thing that we need is to drop model pop-up element on our home page which is right over here if I drop it this model pop-up page will have no page ID so we need to create a new page with our pop-up design thankfully we had imported a demo version a demo theme which already have had a pop-up design in our pages right here subscription pop-up so we don't need to design anything we just need to edit it edit it with tag div composer and it is open and next then we can edit the triggers for our pop-up remember for your pop-up to show the design you need to have a page id over here a unique page id it's really important so you see the the page the subscription pop-up page we have over here when i edit it to tag with the composer here you'll see the id is 42 so 42 is already been inserted here here if you click over uh, on this you can change the text of your subscribe button your terms and agreements and anything in this box is editable from the left panel they already uh, you can also show your own error message spacing and everything for example this is placeholder text email address so i can change it to do uh, like uh, write your email here so if i change it into this right here email here and save it and go back to my pop-up change its trigger time to four seconds click on save open my home page and you'll see the the field will be changed it will appear in four seconds one two three four it is here let me unsubscribe it first and reload it again okay so one two three four and it's here right here email here here i had changed the placeholder text into write your email here and it has changed in our pop-up too so this is how you edit your pop-up model box the good thing about it i i have already told you guys that you'll have an email list of your own customers you can send them weekly monthly or yearly emails and uh, you'll have your own personal personalized audience so I'll add my email again here except the terms and agreements click on subscribe go back to tag div opt-in builder and you'll see the email is appearing here so thank you guys this is how we set up our pop-up model in next video we are going to add uh, cookies and privacy policy pages and affiliate disclosure pages have a good day thank you for your time bye